we noticed over the course of a few years that our students were really struggling with, with problem solving and just the really the critical thinking involved and the higher order thinking skills and, and we were looking for a way to, to bridge that gap I would say to get them and what skills we needed to teach them directly. So we had tried some other programs with Problem Solver and other programs that, that were supporting the students but when we, came, when we were given this, this exemplars program the teachers definitely right away saw a difference in the fact that the students loved the problems, they were engaged right away, they were excited about it, it was never a, oh, here we go again with this, it was a challenge for them and right away the teachers were able to work with it and there's obviously a learning curve but the support that we were given from the network and the, stu and the teachers learning from it on the math team and then sharing it with the grade, the exemplar program immediately seemed to show us results. And last year, over the course of the year, the growth that we saw with the students and their ability to problem solve on their own grew drastically from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. And not only did we see their confidence build, but we saw their mathematical thinking skills really improve because they were, they were using the critical thinking skills that we were having a hard time tapping into. Mm -hmm. So it was nice, you know, it's nice in the beginning to kind of get the students to focus in on thinking about how they're going to solve, you know, the strategies, how I'm going to solve this problem, whether it's in kindergarten, just, you know, drawing a picture, that kind of thing, or doing a number model, that kind of thing. Whatever it was, giving the students all of those strategies to work with and then allowing them to choose and then working together as a, as a group was really great and I think that as I said before the students really really seeing the challenge of it in the beginning and and kind of being apprehensive about the problems because they seem a little daunting I think maybe to them at first even to the teachers I think we think oh my goodness are my students really going to be able to do this but it really is the results that you're going to see are wonderful and the, and the students see that and so I'm sure going into all of these dreaded tests that these, these children have to take, giving them the background and the critical thinking that exemplars brings out in them is going to make them much more comfortable to answer problems. And I, I really like the, the way the problems are set up, that they're real life situations and, and they're, they're interesting to the students. So I, I've seen a great improvement. Our teachers have gotten very comfortable with it. And we've got teachers who, you know, the math team, for example, who they're the ones that kind of spearheaded the exemplars and they go back to each grade, which I think is a really great way. They become the experts and then they go back to their grade team and they work with their grade team. And if a teacher is struggling with, with an aspect of it, they can go to that person and get some advice, get some help. And it's been really great. I also think an important part of the exemplars is how we are encouraged to assess the student work together mm -hmm. as a team. And so... As that, a vertical team? As both vertical teams, so the math vertical no. team will look at work, as well as the grade mm -hmm. will look the grade team will look. And really, the fact that you may not be doing the same problem on the same day, but everyone is doing the same versions of the problems. And it's been great to have the teachers go to one another and say, my students really struggled with this problem. Can I come in maybe and see see how you taught it? Or what strategies you know did you use with them? And so that group teacher group assessment, looking at the student work really targeted where the students were struggling and how to move, move them forward. Mm -hmm. And you haven't talked with parents about them yet? Uh, of the exemplars? Mm -hmm. We have, we, and we've shown the parents, you know, I would say the second half of last year, we were showing the parents some of the problems and they were very excited about it and actually we had some parents kind of say, where can we get, where can we get these problems to do with our kids at home, actually. So uh, that was great. That was great. And the, the jigsaw rubric that the, the children are able to use, they got, mm -hmm. they're very excited about. It seems to be very concrete for them. Mm -hmm. And so it's, you know, it's not ambiguous and students really, really enjoyed it. Oh. 
but I think we going forward this year my goal would be definitely to get the parents more have workshops I would say for the parents so that they could understand the process that's involved mm -hmm. and then they could they could support their children at home better with it mm -hmm. definitely that, yeah. that's wonderful yeah I'm excited about it I'm excited about it is there anything we can improve I think I mean everyone always wants more <laughs> more examples more, you know more definitely more more a database you know what I mean that that we can go to and with any any anything I would say streamlining I know that this teachers that are in the, our workshop today are looking at how to really link it to the content and so especially with the common core standards now being able to kind of have that easy link with I'm working on this standard and these are these are some problems that would really help that and most you know well educated teachers obviously could find that but taking out that that searching time sometimes is nice when mm -hmm. we are already bogged down with a million things to do do you know that they're aligned to the common core they are they yeah. are which is which has been helpful yeah. and i know we're just starting work with the common core so i think it's really great to have these exemplar problems linked and aligned because it makes teachers and new teachers realize that the common core standards aren't scary they're they're something that we need to be teaching to and paying attention to mm -hmm. and so it's a resource definitely a resource but no I, I really i've loved working with the program i know the teacher other teachers in the building have loved working with the program so definitely more any support is mm -hmm. great so we continue to send our teachers to workshops and having those be available that's that's helpful great yeah. good